Friends, Ash here with Gent Sense. The time is upon us. And what time is that, you might ask? Well, of course, it's none other than new Creed time. Let's go there, let's play. <laughs> let's make our escape. Come on, let's go there. New Aventus, absolute Aventus. Absolutely friggin' expensive, oh my God. But yes, it is new Creed and it's time to check it out. Uh, you guys no doubt have heard about this one, right? So it's time, it's time to get into this. But before we do, a little shameless self-promotion. My two new fragrances, Edgewater and West Loop are out. They've been cooking in the kitchen for a little while and it's time to serve. So these are available at every Perfumania, every fragrance outlet store in the United States, but you're gonna wanna scoop these up at Michael Malul's website, which is linked in the description, because there is a price cut on these for a limited time that brings them just under a hundred bucks US each, $98. The code is GENTSENTS, G-E-N-T-S-C-E-N-T-S. -E -E yes, it's missing an S, but whatever. So Edgewater, very fresh, very brisk and green, hence the presentation style. This one was done with Richard Urban as the perfumer. Uh, you may have seen him on the channel before. He's a friend of mine, and he also was the perfumer of Tom Ford's Oud Wood, among a bunch of other releases that you no doubt have heard of, like Tom Ford Patchouli Absolute. You've heard of that one too. Perfect for spring and summertime in the day. Smells quite unique, different than other things out there. And then the next one is West Loop. Perfumer is Gabriella Sherlerieu, and this one is a uh, very sexy, sweet scent, grabs a lot of attention, good performance from this one. Has a fantastic smelling toasted cinnamon off the top with vanilla orchid, a little tobacco in there as it dries down as well. I have worn these so much over the past year while we've been working on them and going back and forth, and now they are out. So again, check these out in the description below. There's also a video that came out on my channel before, so you can just search these up, my new fragrances, and see more information on them on there. Okay, back to this. <sighs> Aventus. It is without a doubt the most popular men's niche fragrance of all time. The most hyped, the most impersonated, the most cloned, the most everything, I guess. And now we have Absolute Aventus. How does it stand up? How does it stack up against the OG? Well, first off, let's take a look at this presentation. Then we can start talking about the scent. So here we have the box. I like the look of it. It's got the name of the fragrance, the name of the house, and the size right there on the front. On top, what is that? Is that Olivier Creed's signature? Wow, cool. Nothing on the back. And then on the bottom, you have your batch code and your ingredients. And when you get this in, there will be a little sticker on each side that says Creed, and you just kind of peel it right off there. Then you can open it up like so, and the bottle sits right down in there, like that. I do like this uh, presentation style. You know, it's a little step up from the uh, older style boxes, although I'm sure some people do prefer the older style. And here we have the bottle. So you have the name of the fragrance right there on the front, the size, once again, it's all blacked out. It is a fingerprint magnet, so be aware of that. Gonna wanna have one of these microfiber cloths around and just constantly polish that up so it looks real nice. The cap is nice and heavy, metallic. And then on the bottom, you have your uh, batch code information right up in the corner. Let's see, what is my batch code? F001493. And of course, cap clicks into place. All right, let's give it a spray, see how that atomizer do. There we go. It's a really nice atomizer. I will say that I prefer the uh, old school Creed fire hose atomizers. You remember those? Uh, but these are good too. So, Absolute Aventus. I guess uh, the first thing we'll talk about is the price point. So it comes in this 75 mil size, which I like. I like this, uh, the 75 mil, you know? That's, that's the Creed I grew up on. 75 mil, 120 mil, and the little 30 mil. This 50 and 100 mil nonsense, you know those bottles? Nah, for the birds. 75 mil, I like that. The price point, 500 and $545. Oh, I don't like that. 545 bucks, that is what I paid for this one. Uh, I bought mine from Lucky Scent. By the way, Gents 10, <laughs> Lucky Scent, get yourself 10% off. It does work on this. Uh, that code is only good through the end of November though. You're probably watching this in the future, some of you, in like 2024 or 2025 or something. That code is long dead, dude. But uh, through the end of November of 2023, still good. How does this smell and is it worth that huge price tag? Mm. So 
Absolute Aventus. When you first spray this one on, I have to tell you, it smells killer. I love the opening of this stuff. It is awesome. It smells better to me than the opening of Aventus. It is more interesting. To be fair though, I've smelled the original Aventus 52 million times. So that may be why it smells more interesting to me, but it's still does, even if that's the reason, it smells more interesting. So it's not as uh, pineapple -y as the original Ventus, of course. It has a little bit more of like a, a dark edge to it off the top. It has some spiciness. At times, very fleeting, extremely fleeting. It will smell like, almost like a spiced fruitiness, like a, like a pie to an extent, but it's just little wafts that you catch. So you'll smell it and be like, oh, there it is, like in the background and you smell it again, ah, oh, it's gone. But you catch that kind of wafting in and out a little bit off the top. It still smells fresh, even though it does have a little bit of a darker edge there off the top and it does have a little more of an amplified spiciness off the top as well. It is warmer than the original Aventus. It's not as fresh fruity, even though it does have, as I said, a little bit of freshness to it. But yeah, it doesn't have that big pineapple blast that the original Aventus does. Uh, the opening of this one does not last all that long off my skin, which is a bummer because the opening to me is the best part. The opening here is great. Now you may have heard or seen that this smells like your Sauvage Elixir. And uh, I gotta tell you, when I first sprayed this on, I was like, no, <laughs> like there's, what are you talking about? There's no, no Sauvage Elixir here. And then the fragrance started to dry down. And then I was like, ah, found it. Yeah, there it is. Does it smell like Sauvage Elixir? When you head out of the opening, yeah. Yeah, it starts to smell a little bit like Sauvage Elixir. The exact same? No, I would say that it's got a little more of that fruit coming through than Sauvage Elixir does. It still has a, a tinge more freshness than Sauvage Elixir. It has a nice little tartness in there that Sauvage Elixir doesn't have, but Still yet, the way the spices come through here and the way they warm up as the fragrance dries and the kind of woodiness underneath those spices, it does start to, to get kind of a Sauvage Elixir vibe to it, which again, should have named it Aventus Elixir instead of Absolute Aventus, Aventus Elixir. Come on, you were that close. Now it's not all Sauvage Elixir though. It still has that Aventus DNA kind of woven through it. So it does, to an extent, smell like a, a mashup of those two fragrances. So what you get is in the opening, that kind of darker take on Aventus, not that big fresh pineapple burst, but instead this, this really sexy, kind of warm, spicy mix, a little tart, a little sweet, a little fresh. And at times with that like almost baked spicy fruitiness going on, really dig it. And then segs into Aventus meat Eats Sauvage Elixir, and then you hit the dry down. The dry down is classy, woody, remnants of the spice from the mid, and still a bit darker than Aventus. So it's interesting because you get that Aventus, like I said, that Aventus DNA where you can tell right away it is Aventus. But then some of the things that are the main things that people would point to with Aventus, the pineapple and the birch, have been removed and replaced with other things with Sauvage Elixir hanging out there for fun as well. I have to say, I really like the way it smells. I think it smells great. The opening especially, the mid smells good. I'm a fan of Sauvage Elixir, to be fair, but it smells good. And it's not close enough to Sauvage Elixir at all to where you could say, oh, well, just get Sauvage Elixir. It's the same thing. It's, it's not. And by that same token, you couldn't say, well, it just smells the same as Aventus. It doesn't. You can tell it is an Aventus fragrance, but it does not smell just like Aventus. The question is, is it worth <laughs> 550 bucks because yeah, it was 545 at Lucky Scent. And yeah, I got the 10% off, but then there's also taxes that get added on. So it's like, cool. I'm still paying like 550 over here. I think I paid for shipping too. <laughs> so can I get free shipping please? No. Well, I guess let's talk about the performance and everything first. Now, in terms of seasonality, it is an Aventus fragrance, uh, but it is also a little darker leaning. So for the original Aventus, I would say 
anytime, any place doesn't matter. Uh, this one, I'm gonna say pretty much the same thing. I would say that this is more likely to be a fragrance that people would say, uh, it's not really a good summer scent, but I think you can wear it whenever you want. And even though it's in an all blacked out bottle and everything, you can pull this off during the day as well. But if you wanna really get down to what the majority of people will probably say, I would guess they would say uh, fall, winter, spring, and leans a little more toward evening use, though you can pull it off during the day as well. For me, whenever you want, just wear it. Now, performance. This is kind of, uh, kind of strange for me. Now, I've only given this a few wearings. You know, take what I'm gonna say with a, a grain of salt. But initially, it starts off very good. Strong performer off skin. And then as it hits the mid, it sits a little closer, but it's still good. And then the dry down, it's, it's sitting decently close to my skin for whatever reason. And I'll feel like, ah, is that just me? Maybe I'm going nose blind. And I'll do that good old frag head thing, the fragrance lover deal that we've all done a billion times. Go up to somebody, can you smell me? How strong do I smell? Smell me, tell me, tell me the smell. I need to know, I need to know. And uh, I've done that with this one and people will be like, yeah, I can smell it, it's pretty light. And it will be like two hours after I've sprayed this on and I'm just like, how is it possible? You will smell me. Oh, that was just like 50 bucks I just sprayed out. Woo, love the opening. But uh, the performance is, is not as good as I was expecting. I was expecting just like scorched earth because at the price point and it's absolute Aventus, I was expecting it to just, you know, really be super strong. And it's not that it's weak. It's not that it's weak. It's just, I do wish it were a little stronger off my skin. Although to be fair, the times that I have worn it, I haven't like just now, that's the most I've ever sprayed it on. So on the whole, essentially we have a, a fragrance that at least off my skin here initially, the performance is, is good, but not great. And it smells like the original Aventus with the smoke and the pineapple basically kicked out of there with a really super pleasant opening kind of that warm, sexy, spicy fruitiness off the top with a darker edge, really well done. And then a bit of a, a mingling of Sauvage Elixir type of uh, spices and woods along with the Aventus DNA to an extent. If you wanna boil it down to its simplest facet, that's what this is. It smells, again, I can't reiterate it enough. I think it smells great. Is it worth $545? <sighs> No, I don't think so. I mean, you already knew that, right? I mean, that's just stupid money. I'm, I'm, I'm the moron, I guess. I will say though, if you really enjoy Aventus, this is pretty close to being a must own. Like if you enjoy uh, collecting Aventus in any way, shape, form, or facet, then you gotta get this stuff. I would tell you, you know, <sighs> try to pick it up at discounters, but I, I don't imagine this is ever gonna be heavily marked off. I mean, that kind of is what it is with that stuff, you know? Creed is just pricey. It has extreme wearability. It does have a compliment factor. The performance needs to be better. The price is just, that's tough, man. It, it's really hard to recommend anything when you get to that price point. Like you have to have something that's just absolutely insane. But I do think on the whole, this stuff smells great. So if that's the only thing that you're going off of, if money is no big deal to you, then it does smell very good. And everybody I've had smell it has loved it. So you're gonna have to weigh that yourself. Absolutely, I would say try to sample it first. Uh, but the problem with that is those samples are gonna be probably just stupid expensive. I can imagine people decanting this stuff and asking absurd amounts. I will tell you what though, it would not surprise me if uh, Latafa and everybody else under the sun is just like working to get their absolute Aventus clone out there, alternative out there. They're probably freaking out right now. Hurry, 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 we have to be first. There we go, absolute Aventus. I would say right now, as it, as it stands, this is my favorite Aventus over the original, over the cologne. If I were gonna pick one to wear, especially right now, heading into a uh, fall and winter and everything. So there we go. Absolute Aventus, stupid expensive. I cannot recommend you blind buy this. It is just way too much money, but at the same time, it smells really good. So I, I can't, uh, you know, I can't crap on how it smells. I can just say, ooh, that's expensive, dude. So there we go. If you smell this one, let me know what you think about it. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you tomorrow in another very video. I'll see you guys later. Aventus, be cheaper. It's ridiculous.